Hi, I'm Rebecca Wynn, and I'm a horticulturist and landscape designer. I own Whimsical Gardens, an artistic landscape design company. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to save compost in your kitchen. Making your own compost is a fun and very gratifying experience. It's good for your garden, it's good for your city's waste management, and it's good for the planet. Compost should have two parts green material to one part brown material. Green material can include all kinds of fruit and vegetable waste from your kitchen. Brown material is things like dried leaves and sticks and branches and stuff like that from your garden. When you're saving material between the kitchen and the compost bin, the most important thing is that it seals tightly. If you do not do this, I can absolutely promise you, you will have fruit flies and they're very difficult to get rid of. There are products that are specifically made to contain compost materials between the kitchen and the compost bin. Some of them even have charcoal filters to reduce odors and stuff like that. They can actually be quite expensive, but you don't have to pay a lot of money for that. You can use a plastic container, just like a Tupperware container. You can use a plastic bag. Once you have your material contained, you can refrigerate it, or you can even freeze it if there's going to be an extended period of time between getting the material in your kitchen and getting it to the compost bin. So keeping it contained and then refrigerating it or freezing it, somehow preserving it, all of these things are intended to keep odor down and prevent fruit flies. I'm Rebecca Wynn, and this has been How to Save Compost in Your Kitchen. Thank you.